Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Casey Montoya. In news today, Amazon preps a press conference. A court upholds a $650,000 music piracy fee. A teenager revolutionizes cancer detection. The White House releases its source code. And we go over the new movie releases for the weekend. Amazon released invitations to the press on Thursday for an event September 6 in Santa Monica, California. While no details about what the event will entail have been divulged by Amazon, the invitation alone has sparked rumors that the online retail giant is preparing to announce a new version of its Kindle Fire tablet. Other speculation suggests updates to Amazon's Prime service or new original shows for Amazon Instant Video Streaming Service. A U.S. federal court in Massachusetts has upheld a $675,000 penalty imposed on Joel Tenenbaum. He was found guilty of illegally downloading 31 songs from the Internet and distributing them to other web users for two years despite warnings to stop. After a jury ruled that Tenenbaum, who was a student at Boston University when he made the fateful downloads, should pay the fee to record companies who sued him for damages, the man argued that the fee was excessive. The U.S. Supreme Court has refused to hear the case, despite pleas from Tenenbaum's lawyers. Sometimes it just takes a fresh set of eyes to fix a problem. A 15-year-old high school student named Jack Andreka has developed a new test to detect pancreatic cancer. While a feat on its own, the new test is 168 times faster and much less expensive than the current test on the market. As a prize for his invention, the boy, who's a Maryland native, won $75,000 in May at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. The White House announced this week it's released the source code for its We the People online petition system. Now any developer may download the code, change it, and use it for whatever purpose. The decision to open source We the People is part of President Obama's Open Government Partnership Initiative, which he announced last year. Analysts are predicting weak movie theater attendance this weekend, as usual in August, but there may be at least one reason to rush to your local cinema. Critics are praising Premium Rush, a bicycle chase movie starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Also opening this weekend, Hit and Run, a comedy action film starring Kristen Bell and Bradley Cooper. Both films open today. That's it for today's DT Daily, but be sure to check back later today for our review of Samsung's DAE750, a high-end iPod dock that goes retro with tube amp technology for a warmer sound. And if you're a camper, check back this weekend for our verdict on BioLite, a camp stove that can actually charge your phone even as it boils water.